All right, guys, just a quick update on my pond. You see the two fish swimming down there, the big guys, the two females. The water's starting to get clear. For some reason, it was so milky, you couldn't see through it to the bottom. But in the last two days, there's some of my small fish. Look at how big they got. When they come out, I'll try to film them. They went back in the deep. But I was looking at the little guys last night. I think I got like 13 or 15 of them in here. I put them in when they were like an inch and a half in size. I can't get over how big some of them look like three inches already. And then when I put them in, they didn't have much color. Oh my God. I don't know how they could color up this much. There's one in here, solid bright orange with all black patches all over the place. It looks better than the adult. There's some white ones with orange and all black. There's a white and black one. There's one out there. That's one of the plain looking ones by the adult. See it on the edge. I wish the water was clear. But that one's like white, maybe a little black on the side, a little bit of orange on the head. It's kind of drab looking. Well, for now it is, it may change color. I'm telling you, some of the little guys I put in here, I can't get over how good they look. They like, literally grew overnight and colored up like I would never have expected it. There's one right there in the middle. I can't see, there's a black one out there. See the little one? I don't know if you're gonna see it by the adult. He's in the shade now. Jet black, the whole fish from the top. I don't know what the sides look like, obviously. I'm trying to find them. They're, they're going around, but the water's so murky, it's hard to see them. I can't wait if it clears up. It looks like it's getting clearer though. There's one out there. From what I could see, it's one of the smaller ones. It looks orange and black, but like I said, with the water being murky, it's hard to tell. If they come closer, I'll try to video them. But anyway, yeah, they're making use. You can see that barrel I put in there. They stay in it a lot, I guess for protection. But when they come out, they go out all over where the adults are. For some reason, the adults, Look like they don't care. They're out and about all day long. The babies hide a little more. And I shouldn't even call them babies anymore. Like I said, some of them are like three inches, which is crazy. There's one on the barrel, if you could see it towards the back. Look at the size or you can't really make it out, but I'd say that's three inches. See it? By the mother down there, just move. But like they're three inches long, it's crazy. God, I wish the little ones would come out. They just been swimming around today at the surface. I think they're eating bugs and stuff, who knows? See them? And that little guy right there in the middle is eating stuff on the bottom. So they must eat all this algae. I did put my uh, UV sterilizer in here about a week ago. It really didn't do that much. Maybe it did, maybe that's why it cleared up. It took that long to do it, because it's not meant for this many gallons, but I figured I had it and I threw it in for the hell of it. Figured maybe it could do something, so maybe that's why it's clear. But also, oh, that's what I forgot to mention. I bought a new canister filter. You can see my big 525 gallon an hour Sun Sun. The impeller on it, the, pl the plastic that's attached to the magnet on the base of the impeller that the shaft goes through, all of a sudden, like, what the heck's that noise? I hear scraping like anything. So, take it apart, and the plastic, like, cracked off. I don't know how that's possible. There was no strain or nothing on it. So, I have two brand new impellers, and, like, every time I do this, you put them in, and you hear the not that loud but enough to annoy you when you're sleeping so I couldn't take it anymore so what I did was I bought their little one that's only 266 gallons an hour I had it years ago and it was always quiet even after five years of using it oh man I don't know if you're gonna see it up against the back no you're not there's a shadow darn it let me see if I could move 
Maybe I could get out of the shadow. Ah, they move and see them. Look how big they got. There's one on the garbage can. Man, I wish they'd come out more. I hope you saw how big they were. They gotta be like three inches. Look, no, that's not it. But that's what it looks like. I must have scared them. I knew I was gonna. But anyway, more about that filter. Tried two brand new impellers and it was noisy as anything. I don't know why it's like that. Like I said, I bought the smaller one that I had good luck with. I know it's not as many gallons an hour, but I do have one of the 500 hang on the backs on there. On the tank, it's the Severn tank. So that's good enough for filtration. So what I did was took all the biomedia out of this and stuffed it inside the other one. It may have slowed it down a bit, but the water looks clearer than it ever did. And I figured, what the heck? I don't care if it's noisy out here. I got a little bit of tape and put it over the cord because they kind of make the cord go in the top and water could get in it, but I think it's sealed anyway. But I put tape so in case water got in it wouldn't do anything. And I put this garbage can lid over the top just so the sun don't like bake it or whatever, maybe ruin the plastic, who knows. But if you feel that canister filter, it was 93 degrees out yesterday. I thought it was going to be hot. I took the top off that uh, can thing, the lid. And it's running like cool as anything because the water's passing through it. So it's good. So it's got biomedia in there and like four inches thick of foam. So maybe that's what cleared up. Here's one. Right down there. Again, the water's turbulent from the uh, UV. There, there's one. See it? Look at how big it got. That's unbelievable. And that one's white with an orange towards the tail and like bluish black in the center. That's not one of the better looking ones. That's like average. I'm so psyched because I produced them. <laughs> I'm like a mother. <laughs> Here's this one here. It's like orange and streaked with black. You can't really see it. It's on the bottom. The water's so bad. This one's probably about two and a half inches. But that other one was huge. There's one even bigger that's orange and black, but it hasn't come out yet. Man, I'm psyched because there's only 15 of them and they look this good. They look better than the adults, some of them. There he is on the edge. There's two. I don't know if you can see the white one I just showed you. And another one with white, red, and black by the mother. They got huge. It's a, I, I can't get, I honestly can't get over how big these fish got in such a short time. I wish I could put all the fry out here, but I'd have to take these out. They'd eat them. They'd probably be like huge in like a month. Oh well. Look at a dragonfly dipping in. Now I forgot what I was talking about. Oh well. <laughs> Old. <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, I got the filter in here. It looks like it's clearing up. It's still like that murky. It's like a kind of like a, I don't know. If you look close, there's like a dust of algae floating around in here. So, like I said, hopefully that uh, UV sterilizer keeps it under control enough so I can see the fish. It's like seeing them for the first time because you can barely see into the bottom now and I'm like amazed at how good they look it's crazy but everything's working good falls is running sweet my plant took off it flowered already but I still got it in here fish are doing good and there's that little jet black one man I wish you could see it, it just went to the right it's out here it's tiny though, I don't know why it didn't grow, but when I say jet black, it's a beauty. Here's two of them right here. Looks like a white one with a, I don't know, almost yellow the head, like orange, like an orangey yellow with black speckles. Don't know what they're gonna look like, Sam. But there's some nice ones in here, I'll tell you what, way better than the adults. So here's what I was saying. This is only the 15 that I got. I got another, I'm gonna say, there's the black one, see them over the garbage can, jet black. 
I got another, I'm going to guess and say 50 to 75 of the same pairing right here in my uh, 125. And them ones, oh, you missed them, see them? Orange and all black spots. Ah, I missed them, he came to the top. But uh, them ones I did the last cull like two weeks ago and took out all the green color ones. Here's one right here. That's interesting looking. They all look different. That's what's nice about breeding the Shabunkins. They all look different. No two are the same. Which is awesome. So I was saying about the ones in the tank. I probably got 50 to 75 and it's the same pairing. So I culled half of them. There was probably 150 or maybe more. But a lot of them were the green color. And some of them were the a grayish color. But I seen a little bit of black on them and like an orange. So I kept about a dozen of them. And they're turning out to look really sweet. So I got those. And then from the one female that's mostly the nicer one, I think. Black speckled and nice looking. I probably got God knows how many, 100, 150 fry from her, and they're all doing good. I don't see any deformities. And then the other big female that's white with orange and black on her. Oh, there just got to be about 700 of them. It's not a thousand that I got. But we're going to let them grow. And honestly, I put them in a Tupperware container that my tenant gave me. So they got a lot more room than that 20 gallon. I forget. I think it's a... I don't even know what size of it. It's got to be 36 by 20 by a foot and a half tall. So I got it like a foot deep. So it's got room. Look at that one. See them by the hose? Man, I don't believe how big they got. Maybe it'll come out by the mother. She even darkened up her colors. The black got blacker on her. For some reason, out in the sun, they seem to get darker black. Look. Oh, jumped out. <laughs> All right, guys. I don't want to bore you. They're not coming out. But I do see one on the edge with a lot of black on it and orange. But it's like a foot down in the water and you're not gonna see it but i just wanted to show you the update these fish are turning out to look like real beauty so there's one right here get that bubble out of the way see how it's white looking with an orange head and some black spots here and there on it next to another one that's all orange and black see it too bad the water's murky dang it all right guys I just wanted to show you what's happening with the pond. Some of the fish are turning out to look really sweet looking. And I can't wait to see what the other fry look like. Especially the cross between the Sankey Gold and those two big females that I got from some other place. is going to be interesting. Maybe it'll look better. Maybe it'll look worse. Who the heck knows? We'll find out. But anyway, I'll let you go with the sound of the waterfalls. And the quarry. <laughs> Here's one. They keep jumping out of the top. All right, let me let you go, guys. I'll be here all night. Proud mama with her fish. <laughs> Later, guys.